welcome back. We're at the Be Nasty Beach tent, the Fubix, and we have a friend here. Dude, G, introduce yourself to the world and tell them what you do and what your role been, what your role has been here at Valhalla Fest. Hey, so my name is Jordy, and I'm the director of art for Valhalla Fest. I've been doing this since the beginning, year one, and I am responsible for kind of how the festival looks as far as where the art pieces go, what kind of crazy effects we have on our stages, and kind of anything visual is kind of my purview here now. So any of the large scale art pieces and such. Sweet. Um, have you had that role since like the Genesis, or like, you know, did you look up to that role, or like, how did you, how did you get the role of like art director? So, at the very beginning, there was like a small group of us. Uh, Aaron was like kind of in charge of music, and then Ray, uh, he's the CEO. This is like his company's property. His and then Pam, financial. Jared is kind of more of our tech guy, kind of behind the scenes organizing that. And to be honest, we all kind of have spheres of influence, but then we kind of were trying to figure out what title should we give ourselves and director of art sounds like someone you could still sit down and have a beer with but as opposed to like operating officer or something like that so but I've always been very uh, intrigued and inspired by some of the large-scale art that I saw at Burning Man uh, when my wife and I go there and I just really wanted to try to build that kind of stuff up here and yeah. Um, what would you say is like your inspiration when it comes to being an art, art director? You know, like obviously there's like the Bahala theme, right? But like, do you draw from any other places? When you're thinking about you know setting up how the art's gonna look here and what kind of art is gonna be present. Uh, so I'm quarter Japanese and. Ray, uh, his other company, Slate, operates out of Tokyo, and so we're right now we're trying to do like a bit of a fusion between like Japanese and Norse style kind of structure. So when we did the gate, it was like okay, big gate to the hala, but we're gonna do like the Japanese style roofing, and same with the the style of the um, leaf speech. It's kind of a similar idea of this kind of Japanese feudal warrior inspired art. I love that. I love that. Um, any other messages um, that you want to send out to the universe? Send out to the world? Yeah, so the last couple years has been really hard for everybody. Uh, my day job, I'm a ICU nurse in the COVID unit for three years and it's been stressful and to get through the stress I've just been building stuff and creating stuff and you know it got me through in a positive way. Ignis, I built Ignis from a dark place and it really pulled me back and now it's something physical that people can interact with and have like a moment and it's uh, I think if you're in a dark place just build or create and just that very active doing it will get those positive endorphins and then you'll have something kind of cool and fun you can use and share afterwards and tell you. Oh, I, um, this question just popped in my head. Because obviously you're an artist. Yourself, right? <laughs> what? So it's weird hearing, it's weird hearing that. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. What is your favorite medium to create? Uh, right now, I'm really big on metal, scrap metal. So it's, it's cheap and it's more forgiving than wood. And right now I'm using a lot of uh, old signs because it has, they're made of aluminum and there's vinyl on them and nobody recycles them because it's so hard to get the, uh, the vinyl off. So it's cheaper just for people to buy new signs. And so there's like tons of that. And then the other one I'm really interested in is how uh, using flame as a medium, using propane, and it's like such a interesting visceral kind of thing to be able to incorporate into a piece. Yeah, sick. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, you want to plug in any social media? Any last shout outs? Uh, yeah, uh, the Halifast, it's gonna be better next year. 
Uh, everyone come out because we're building some insane stuff out here and honestly the only thing about us is not enough people know about us yet. Have you? And uh thanks for having me. Peace world. Yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more or also check out our website www.benastybeats.net.